So I got this idea, oh, like two days ago when I filmed um, my coldest night of the year video uh, with my cell phone and I realized I could actually get pretty good audio out of it for doing like a little web series, um, just using my phone and uploading it directly and no bells and whistles that I thought you folks might like of me just wandering around the studio looking at stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to call it, it came from the studio. And what I'm going to do is every time I do one of these videos, I'm going to walk around the studio. I'm going to grab a random box. Tonight, we're going to grab this box right here. This came from my parents' barn back in, oh geez, like Thanksgiving. Um, and they dropped off a bunch of stuff when we met up uh, and were able to see each other for Thanksgiving, like super briefly. Um, cause they were just, they were cleaning it out and they wanted to, to, to get me back some things that I was, I, I apparently had there for years and years. I don't know what's in it. It's, it's an old Baffin box, um, which means it's a box for like boots. And clearly at some point, my dad must've used it to mix some JB weld. Cause there's a toothpick with some JB weld stuck to it. So every dad out there, you know, gotta love the JB weld. Um, yeah. So let's, let's crack it open and see what it is. All right. Well, apparently it's a second edition 40 K box. Probably the original one I bought. Now, I would have had this in, geez, like 92 or 93, I think. Maybe, yeah, 92 or 93. Uh, and I wonder if it's complete. I wonder what's in it. I, I don't know. Not much. Uh, I think most of the contents of this are actually in my Dark Millennium box, which was also uh, packed in with this stuff. But there's some pretty cool shit. Look at this. The new releases... You get Blood Bowl, four Blood Bowl goblins for $7.50 Canadian. This must have been the catalog sheets. So these were um, Canadian catalog updates. There we go, yeah. Canadian catalog updates for, uh, oh no, these are from Glen Burnie. These are US then. So these are from uh, when they were in Benson Avenue in Baltimore. Crazy. And you get Flush Hand Scorpion Tails if you just wanted a separate Scorpion Tail. You get some Death Skull Ludas with combi weapons for $5.50 each. That's madness. A whole bunch of catalog sheets. What else we got? Oh, that's convenient. I'm actually in the studio tonight to film the next episode of Warhammer Quest. So there's the there's the one sheet for it. 90 Citadel miniatures, 32 page rule book, 16 page adventure book, 192 page role play book. Crazy. Yeah, that's the that's the full the full moxie for that. Crazy. This came in the 40k second edition box, but I guess the timeline's right. 95 then probably because this would have been the new release. They would have packed this in the second edition starter set. What else we got? Oh, a subscribe to White Dwarf offer. That's pretty rad. Oh, can I even open it? Come on. Enter the world of Games Workshop via White Dwarf with this Playbill folded thing that Ash can't open with his stupid left hand. Oh, it's how to... So, yes, there's subscription rates. How much was it subscribed to? One year was 35 bucks or 45 bucks Canadian. Crazy. <laughs> That's madness. Clearly, I didn't need these tokens. Oh, there we go. There it is right there. There's the business. The planet of Necromunda is an inhospitable world of toxic pollutant wastes and burning clouds of acid. That's where it's at. That was my jam back then. What do we got in here for the... Oh, there's the, there's the box set. Description. The box contains 24 Citadel miniatures, 12 Orlocks, and 12 Goliaths. No picture, though. Because it's in this sweet-looking double spread. Yeah, that's what train used to look like, folks. Enjoy that. Look at those sweet, sweet cardboard buildings. I'm pretty sure in the bottom of one of the mailboxes, like it's like a big, like, um, close to service sorting box that my parents had been storing this stuff in, actually is one of those cardboard buildings. Some sweet Orlocks. Yeah, some sweet, uh, some Cod gangers and some House Escher stuff. House Goliath, one of the plastics. The height of plastic technology and, and Citadel miniature painting back then, right here. The question was always, why were they on grass bases? And the answer was, because that was the rule. Everything had to be on grass bases. <laughs> so, so it looked so dumb. And they painted them and then they stuck them on this gorgeous studio terrain and they were all wearing, they all had like grass bases, although there was no grass in the underhive. Uh, we got some more catalog inserts. Oh, what note did I write to myself? Is it an army list? Oh my gosh, what did what did 15 year old Ash, Captain Heimdall uh, with a chain sword, bull pistol, melt bombs and frag grenades, power armor, bionic leg and a conversion field. Oh, he must've been based on the old bionic leg Space Marine Captain, Chaplain Jonas, Codiceer Spinning Blade, Death Company, Terminator Squads, and Tactical Squads. You can see I was edgy because I was playing uh, Blood Angels. Sweet. There's a thousand point second edition Blood Angel Army list. Handwritten by yours truly, probably in like the mid 90s. I, I probably thought that was the coolest shit ever. We got some tokens for Hidden. Yeah, man, look at that cardboard, which I clearly ripped some jam tokens. 
some vehicle speed tokens, the turning template. Anybody remember this? Oh man, with, a, with a, an old Land Raider drawn on it. To turn the vehicle, place 45 degrees along the side of the vehicle and then turn the front of the vehicle to face the diagram as shown. Ridiculous. Mm, and then we got our victory points tracker for second edition. Each enemy squad, it was worth zero victory points, it was less than 100 uh, points of value and one if it was worth more. Crazy. A Space Marine squad, so this is right of the box. We got sweet stat line, hasn't changed in 25 years. Some like basic rules for all the weapons, the reference sheet. I don't know what that was for. That's some dark money, I'm sure, right there. Chaos stuff. The Gretchen reference squad, yeah. Oh my god, in my Illuminati rule book for my Illuminati card game. <gasps> There's a blast from the past. This is this is what this series is gonna be all about, folks. Finding this most random of shit. I probably have been missing, I've been missing this probably for like 25 years, yeah. The World Domination Handbook version 1.1 from March of 1995. Illuminati the card game. I played the shit out of this. I always played as the gnomes from Zurich. Because they were OP as hell. And my hand flamer template, look at how cute that is. It's like three inches long for a hand flamer. What else in this box? Oh, a copy of the first edition of Fellowship of the Ring. Okay, if this is what I think it is, it is. Oh my God. Okay, so this is the one we got given um, as staff when we were taking pre-orders. That's like an unopened Fellowship, I think. Look at how old it is. The plastic container's turned yellow from wherever it's been sitting. Yeah, oh no, it's a Nazgul. It's the nine. Oh no, it's Attack at Weathertop, actually. Yep, it's Weathertop. That's Weathertop Aragorn and a bunch of Weathertop Hobbits and five of the Nazgul, including the Witch King. That's cool. What else is in here? We got some uruk Scouts. We got some Gondor Spearmen from the First War. We got some metal plastic goblins. Or metal um, warrior goblins, sorry. A Bilbo. Uh, some uruk Scouts with bows. A bunch of the War of the Lost Alliance uh, dudes. Some more metal goblins that I clearly like was going to paint and gave up. Haldir's Elves. Haldir. Other metal goblins with bows. Who are you? Oh, it's Aodin, it's Aodin and Frodo. Yeah, this was all the first range of stuff. So what happened was, another ring range, so I have six of them, I guess. And who are you? Gunner Bowman. So this would have been the first service set from Lord of the Rings. I would have been working as a part-time while I was in art school at the Scarborough Town Games Workshop store. And we got the most pre-orders in Canada, I'm pretty sure, for Lord of the Rings. We got, like, I think we had hundreds of some pre-orders for this game because the, there was so much hype around the movie. And so we got sent one of everything from the first run. And I think I painted my fellowship and I painted the plastics from this box, but I didn't paint everything else. That's cool. That I boxed it, packed up, and it's still in there. So there it is, the first episode. We've got our, it came from the studio. Um, yeah. Maybe we'll do one of these a week. I don't know. We'll do another one next week. We'll see. I hope you enjoyed that. Talk to you later.